Hey everyone, hope you're keeping well. Richard Earnshaw here, Digital and Social Media Officer for the Diocese of Leeds. Here's my 10 easy steps on how to live stream using Facebook. Live streaming on platforms such as Facebook is proving to be an invaluable tool during these difficult times when churches aren't able to gather together as they once were. So the first easy step that you need to take in order to live stream through Facebook is to tell people about when you are going to be doing your live stream. There's nothing worse than when you actually do a live stream and hardly anyone is watching because you didn't tell them beforehand. So post about it on social media, email your contacts, ring people up, get people excited for when you're going to live stream. So the second step is that you need to get your smartphone and you need to open the Facebook app or Facebook via your internet browser and log in to your account. Once you're logged into your Facebook account, you can do a Facebook Live video in two ways, either on a Facebook page, so if your church has a Facebook page, we encourage that you do live streams on there, or your church may have what's called a Facebook group, and you can also live stream on a Facebook group. So you need to go ahead and click on to either your church page or your church Facebook group. Next, you need to go ahead and tap on, if you're on a Facebook page, an option that says create a post. And here you'll see various options. Or if you're in a group, it will say write something and that's the option that you need to tap on in order to go live. The fifth step is you then need to scroll down and there'll be a number of different options. And one of them will say live video. And that's the one that you need to tap to do a live video. Step number six is that you need to write a short description. This can be one or two sentences, and this just tells people what the live stream is all about. And then step number seven is you need to point the camera in the right direction. So think about, do you want a live video that's going to be in portrait mode or landscape mode? Just think which is most appropriate for the video that you're going to do. And think about the background, what's going to be in it, all that type of thing. So make sure to point the camera in the right place. Step number eight is you need to think about sound and lighting. It's very easy to start a live video and there might be noise in the background or the lighting might be too dark because you're stood in a darkened room. And live streaming, I think people will understand that it's not going to be anything professional. But you, before you do the live stream, you can think about, right, what is the lighting like? Can you see the person's face clearly enough? Using natural light is brilliant, but if not, you can use artificial lights. Uh, and again, with the sound. So you can use buy lapel microphones that connect to smartphones, and that will. Do, and if you're having one person talking during the live feed, that's a way of improving the sound. Otherwise, you can use the sound from the smartphone phone, and that tends to do a decent job as well. Step number nine is you then need to go ahead and press the go live blue button. And once you press this there will be a little red button in the top of the screen that has the word live in it and that's when you know that the video is live. And finally the tenth and last easy step is to end the live stream and you need to tap the finish button and that will end it, it will be done and then you have the option to post this video as a permanent post on your Facebook page or Facebook group and I'd encourage you to do that because it then enables people who've missed the live video to go back and to watch it again. So there's my 10 easy steps, I hope that's been helpful. I'm Richard Earnshaw, Social and Digital Media Officer for the Diocese of Leeds and if you have any questions with regards to equipment or how to live stream on a platform like Facebook, please feel free to get in touch. Thank you.